Welcome, body odor sufferers. Um, how's everything? Um, I wanted to share a couple of articles with you about night work or people who work night hours or work night shifts. Because just this Sunday, I had a conversation with a person uh, who was working seven days a week um, as a security officer doing night shifts. I used to do night shift work too, but I did recall reading a couple of articles when I was doing like night work as a security officer and I heard about like negative side effects of doing night work or working night shifts. And not only that, I know some other people who have who are working night shifts, even on the Facebook group of Amiibo. Um, I know there's this guy who always posts, does some live chats or whatever, and he had like seizures and stuff when he was on night shift. So I just wanted to share some information from a couple of articles that I've just been reading right now. The first article is by American Psycho Psychological Association, and it says the risks of night work. So let's just read just a couple of passages because they have several things I wanted to share. So the first thing it says is nearly 15 million Americans work a permanent night shift or regularly rotate in and out of night shifts, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. That means a significant sector of the nation's workforce is exposed to the hazards of working nights, which includes restlessness, sleepiness, on the job, fatigue, decreased attention, and disruption of the body's metabolic process. Those effects beyond the workers, this, those extend beyond the workers themselves, as many of us share the road with night driving truckers, count on the pre precision of emergency room workers, and rely on the protection of force and national security personnel at all hours. I do want to sit here and, you know, it's a very long article, um, so you can read it yourself, but I do want to talk about like the negative things that they start listening, uh, listing about. And in here it says, night work and fatigue may also contribute to the uh, risk of heart disease and cancer, according to research by Violanti, Via, and colleagues working with 98 Buffalo, New York police officers. The researchers looked for metabolic syndrome, a combination of symptoms that contribute to poor heart health and diabetes, including large waist circumferences, uh, elevated triglyceride levels, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and high levels of glucose when not eating. They found that the officers who most frequently worked uh, the 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. shift had the highest prevalence of metabolic syndrome symptoms. Those who comically worked that shift and also averaged fewer than six hours of sleep were four times more likely than the other officers to have metabolic syndrome. In the next article that was written by The Atlantic, it says, How Night Shifts Perpetuate Health Inequality. Um, in this article, it talks about, you know, how night shifts are bad, and it, it actually lists out some of the negative side effects as well. But in this article, it also highlights the differences between people who work some night shifts and people who work a complete night shift. What they were suggesting was that people who work um, consistently work night shifts, who don't have a day shift and a night shift mixed in between, they have it a little bit easier than those who switch between day shifts and night shifts because um, eventually their circadian clock will fall in line with their sleeping cycle. And if we can talk about the circadian rhythm for a second, let's hop into this article, which is uh, made by Sleep Advisor. What is the def definition of circadian rhythm? So circadian is a strange word, isn't it? Have you ever wondered where it came from? It's a Latin term combining circo, which means around, and diem, meaning day. That's why we typically hear of circadian rhythms being daily in nature. They're also referred to as endogenous, which means built in. So our body clock then is a built-in mechanism that signals us when it's time to do an activity like sleep, like sleep. This is what circadian rhythm essentially means. When they talk about circadian rhythm or circadian clock, it's this built-in mechanism um, that allows us, that signals to us that you know it's time to sleep or it's time to do some some type of activity. And when you are, when you go into a night shift, it throws your circadian clock off. But at the same time, in this article right here, let me. Uh, is that my is that my phone? Who cares? I'm ignoring it. In any case, let me read some more stuff here. So, few studies actually compare long-term health effects among people who work some nights to people who work only nights, but the same principle of consistency should apply. If you manage to get your body into the 24-hour sleep cycle, 
that's beneficial. Even if it doesn't correspond perfectly with that of the sun, the idea is to do with chronobiology. Our circadian phase shifts have um, evolved to, depend, to be dependent on light. Cells in the retina sense information about light through the hypothalamus. Genes transcriptions, feedback loops regulate the pineal gland, which secretes the hormone melatonin. According to the International Agency of Research on Cancer, the additional risk of cancers and shift workers may be explained by the disruption of the circadian system that is caused by the exposure to light at night. This can alter sleep activity patterns, suppress melatonin production, and de dysregulate genes involved in tumor development. But if you get into a consistent groove of night shift, you should be able to manipulate light with blackout curtains and lamps. See, so, and this article is talking about people who have, do have just a consistent schedule of night shift. They have it a little bit better as long as you can get into a groove of, of I don't know, blocking out light when you come home and you go to sleep. Um, you might not have as much as negative side effects as people who have day and night shifts. In addition to that, toward the end, it talks about a little bit, let me see here. Oh yeah, here. So the actual best solution is to make a gradual transition between day shifts and night shifts. Like if you could start and finish 10 minutes earlier every day, that would be, that would just be a nightmare for scheduling. And it's a reminder that most people who have to work frequent night shifts are in the position to be making demands like that. Night shift jobs and their associated health risks tend to fall to people of lower ec socioeconomic status. So the risks of shift work tend to go ignored. Yeah, I know when I worked as a, well, a security guard, you're not going to be making hand money over fist or something like that. You, you're you making bare minimum. I know for him, uh, the guy that I was speaking to, he told me he was working $14 an hour. And God damn, that's a lot of money. It makes my ass want to go to Canada. But the, the thing is, a lot of people who are working these night shifts are working low-end jobs. And though it's better for them to work these jobs at the same time, it comes with a lot of health risks. We can go to the third article right here. And this is from Live Strong. And in their statistics, they say around 5.7 7 million people in the United States regularly work the night shift or rotating shift, according to a 2004 report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Most people work the night shift because it's a job requirement, but others choose it for personal preference or better pay. For us, it's a lot of personal preference. Um, while working night shift is convenient for some people, it can cause sleep problems and fatigue while increasing the risk of developing certain chronic health problems. In this article, it talks about the different types of health problems like obesity and metabolic syndrome, heart disease, Digestive problems. I Let me read something about digestive problems. People who work the night shift experience digestive problems more frequently than those who work during the day. Common digestive problems, com, uh, I'm sorry, common digestive complaints include abdominal pain, constipation, and diarrhea. An article published in Occupational Medicine in two, March 2003 reported that 2.38% of night shift workers develop stomach ulcers compared to 1.03% of day shift workers, the risk of ulcers in the small intestines were nearly double in night shift workers. And I want to also add this thing too. I also want to make a comment too. When I used to work at uh, as a as a uh, security officer, um, and you went out to lunch, you know there weren't really that many good places to eat or many places available to eat. So I usually would go to the gas station and just eat like pretty terrible food. So when I hear things about obesity and, and you know, insulin levels rise, I would naturally assume the reason why that's happening is because there's not too many places to eat healthy at night when you're like working at till three o'clock in the morning or even later. There's not too many healthy available options. So normally I would just eat like a lot of chips and just a lot of just junk food. So maybe that is actually the the, the the thing that's contributing to obesity and digestive problems. But let's look at the final article that I wanted to talk about. Um, and this is from Berkeley. Lack of sleep may lead to dementia. New research finds it makes brains vulnerable. So 
It turns out that a sleepless night may cost you more than a morning of grogginess. It could be giving the proteins believed to cause dementia easier access to your brain. Scientists at UC Berkeley Sleep and Neuroimaging Lab have discovered evidence that missing out on deep non-REM um, rapid eye movement sleep may leave the brain more vulnerable to the memory loss associated with Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> okay, Alzheimer's disease, one of the most pervasive and debilitating forms of dementia, have been diagnosed in more than 40 million adults. As the massive baby boomer generation continues to gray over the next decade, this number will likely spike. And for people who are working in these night shifts, I mean, and especially you're working it because you just don't want to be around people. I do. The reason why I made this video is to alert you. There is a lot of negative impacts on working night shifts. Now, in the Atlantic article, it did say if you just have a strictly night shift, you can eventually <clears throat> change your circadian clock. So it's not going to be as bad. You're probably going to get into the swing of things and maybe have good night's sleep. But for me, in my experience, when I try to work these uh these night shifts, it, that shit was pretty bad. I only probably got like four to five hours of sleep um, when I got home. And even when I woke up, I was still fucking tired and I just couldn't. And I wanted to sleep some more, but I couldn't. And it was just hard. So I just wanted to just highlight these articles um, that talk about it. A lot of them are very lengthy. I'm going to drop all these articles so you can read them yourself. Um, other than that, uh, that's just wanted to highlight that to people working night shifts. Just know what you're getting into. Other than that, I'm out. Have a good day.